If you're into highly legible field watches, you'll probably want to stick around for this one. And if you're into value for money or specs for money, you'll definitely want to stick around. Hi guys, welcome to my affordable watch collection. My name is Aviv and today we're going to take a look at a Swiss made titanium field watch that has so much to offer, the Swiss watch company Bunker. This watch was sent to the channel from Swiss watch company on loan for review. They kindly let me test it for a while and share my thoughts on it. And once I'm done with it, I will be sending it back to the company. The Bunker is the second SWC watch that I got to examine and review, as I did get to spend some time with a prototype of their sport model in late 2020. The Bunker comes in a few different colorways, and the green one I have here today is a new one, introduced for the second Bunker batch. They are listed for 430 US dollars on Swiss watch company's website, it comes in this pretty awesome brown leather watch case. It is very thick and has that strong leather smell. The company's name and logo embossed on the outside and on the inside. It has the watch in one pocket and an extra strap in the other. We'll take a closer look at the straps in just a few minutes. You also get a three years international service and warranty card that's one year more than you would normally get with a micro brand watch. Swiss watch company also put in a little thank you note. A nice little personal touch you will only get from a micro brand. And here are the measurements. The width of the case is 41 millimeters. Its thickness is just 10 millimeters. The distance between the lugs is 22. Lug tip to lug tip is 46.4 millimeters. And the watch only weighs 54 grams. It is water resistant to 100 meters, which is what you would expect of a proper field watch. The color of the matte textured dial is what I can best describe as a deep, dark forest green. In some lightings it looks almost black. It has a white printed minute track around the outer edge of the dial with fifth of a minute indicators and minute numerals every five minutes. After that, there are extra large hour markers made up of no less than 20 layers of loom, large Arabic numerals on the even hours and batons on the odds. All markers in this color variation are surrounded with a printed light green colored trim. On the inner circle we have the classic military time 13 to 24, printed in small white characters, where the 18th hour indicator at the 6 o'clock position gives its place to a date complication window, black numbers printed on a white date wheel. The company's name and logo are printed in white and light green under the 12 or 24 markers. Automatic is printed above the date window at the 6. On both sides of the 6 o'clock marker, we can find the Swiss made inscription. The minute and hour hands are brushed sword style hands with syringe tips, hollowed out and packed full with loom. The second hand has a loomed lollipop on the counterbalance and the green tip matching the watch's color scheme. The loom on the hour markers and hands is where this watch quite literally shines. It is X1 grade BGW9 Swiss Super Luminova compound, very generously applied. With 20 layers, it's about as good as it gets. It shines in a bright blue color that will last all night. The dial is covered with a flat sapphire crystal, slightly protruding over the fixed bezel, with, get this, 16 layers of anti-reflective coating applied to its underside. 16! This means that besides being scratch resistant, the crystal will also be so clear 
it would almost feel as if it's not there at all, giving just very minimal reflections. The case is made of grade 2 titanium alloy, super lightweight and treated to a utilitarian looking sandblasted finish on all of its surfaces. It also has an anti-scratch coating, so it will look new for a longer time. The lugs curve down, which will help with the wearability, and are also drilled, which is always nice. The holes will allow for an easy strap change. The crown at the 3 o'clock position screws down to help with the water resistance. It is signed with an engraved SWC logo. And once you screw it out, you can twist it up to hand wind the movement. Pull it out to the first position and twist it up again to flip through the days of the month. Pull it all the way out, the seconds hand will stop, and you can adjust the time. The case back is made of titanium as well. It too screws down into place and has some engraving on it. Swiss watch company and the logo in the center. Bunker and the watch's serial number beneath those. And going around the edge, it has the logo again. And then all titanium number 2. 10 ATM referring to the 100 meters of water resistance. Sapphire crystal, Swiss made and automatic 28,800 vibrations per hour. The bunker is indeed powered by a Swiss made automatic movement that beats at 28,800 beats per hour. The Celita SW200, it has 26 joules, 38 hours of power reserve. It is accurate to between minus 12 to plus 30 seconds per day, but in reality, more often than not, it will perform much better than that. It hacks and it hand winds and is considered to be a very reliable entry-level Swiss movement. The SWC bunker comes with two straps. The first one, and my favorite of the two, is this army green elastic nylon strap. One side is connected to the watch with a spring bar like any two-piece strap and the other side slides under the spring bar on the other side, like a NATO strap would, and then loops and secures into place with little velcro bits. Being elastic and fully adjustable, this strap will give you the best fit for your wrist, and will also be great for hot summer days. The second one is this black leather strap. It is thick and robust. It has contrasting white stitchings, quick release spring bars, and the bleed blasted titanium buckle matching the rest of the watch. SWC also threw in a black nylon strap for me to show you guys. It's pretty much the same as the green one and I think it works great with this watch. Let's put it on my 7 inch wrist and see how the bunker wears. First thing you notice when you have the bunker on your wrist is how extremely light it is. It weighs next to nothing, and most of the time you won't even feel it's there. That's great because you're not going to get that wrist fatigue you get with heavier watches. A couple of weeks ago we looked at a 40mm watch that wears like a 38, the second hour mandala, and today we have a 41mm watch that kind of wears and looks like a 43, thanks to the large dial and bold hour indicators. It does appear larger than it actually is. But thanks to a relatively short lug to lug, it doesn't feel too large for me, and I think it doesn't look too large either. It wears close to the wrist, so it will slide easily under your sleeve. The leather strap is quite stiff at this point when it's brand new, but I believe it will soften with time and with wear. The nylon strap is especially comfortable as it is very limber and hugs the wrist very well. Legibility is probably the best I've ever seen. The numbers are big and bold. The hands are big and bold. They both contrast very well against the darker green dial. And 16 layers of anti-reflective coating 
means that no reflection will interfere with you telling the time even in direct sunlight. Now let's do the pros and cons. I couldn't find anything wrong with the watch, not structurally, not with the price, the materials or any quality control issues. The date wheel could be black to better blend with the dial, if I have to nitpick just to point at anything, and I could even do with no date on the dial at all. As for the pros, the bunker pretty much has it all. From quality materials like grade 2 titanium, sapphire crystal with 16 layers of anti-reflective coating, 20 layers of Swiss loom, all the way to good looks, great legibility and a reliable Swiss movement. I really like the green elastic strap, the leather wallet it comes in too. I think this can be a great watch for someone whose eyes are not as sharp as they used to be and does need that boldness and clarity. It hits the mark on pretty much everything a field watch should have to be a good one. And another thing that I like pointing out when it applies, when you buy one of these, you help support a small, family owned and operated business with people who put their hearts and souls into their products, customer service, and not some corporation that couldn't care less if you're happy with the purchase you made with your hard earned cash. That's true for most micro brands, by the way. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of the SWC Bunker by leaving a comment below. If you want to check it out for yourselves, I will leave a link to Swiss watch company's website in the description of this video, where you can also see their other watches and join their mailing list to get notified when the restock happens. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my affordable watch collection and hit the notification bell for more affordable watches related content. You can also follow me on Instagram and get to know me and my collection a little bit better, get all the news about the channel and connect with me on a more personal level. Here is a quick link to my review of the SWC Sport and to another video you might enjoy. I want to thank the Romer family over at Swiss Watch Company for sending this watch in for review and to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you next time.